Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm going to try again. So this week, I actually have things I can share with you. So maybe vlogging will work out this week. I've had a hard time really doing my, my everyday type of a vlog because nothing exciting has been happening. But it's Sunday. Today is Mother's Day. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have everyone here. And, uh, you know, we've had like... We've had deck work done, so the deck is like 98%, but we still have a lot of painting to do. We have so much stuff to still do, so everything is a little bit of a disarray. So it's going to be kind of a low-key Mother's Day for me. My mom's coming, my sister and her husband, I believe, my, my both my sons and my grandkids are all going to be here and it should be it should be fun it should be a fun day so i'll try to share a few little clips here and there of everything that's happening and then this week it's going to be a busy week i'm going for an overnight on monday night because i'm actually teaching a class on tuesday and uh, up in the where am i going i don't even know where i'm going so sometime tonight i get to pack an overnight bag <laughs> let's put it that way because when i go to work on monday i'm not coming back jay will come back uh, obviously he's not coming with me but i'm not going to be coming back until tuesday night so it should be you know i'll share some bits and pieces of where i'm going where i am going on monday night when i drive up there this big outlet mall so i'm going to go into a couple of the outlet stores and all that I can't hear you, dear. Is one more too, too noisy? No. I'm doing, I'm starting my vlog, if I can keep it up. <laughs> he just said, he's been out mowing, so he said, is the lawn mow, mower too noisy? I said, no, not at all. So anyways, um, yeah, so maybe I'll share a little bit about the mall and all that, where I'm going on Monday night. Tuesday, I'll be teaching up there, then I'll be coming back to Londonderry in... Um, yeah, just Londonderry. So it, it should be... An interesting week. So. I'm going to add this clip in because I was going to wear my wig today and um, Jay said he likes this one better. He likes this color better. I think it's the um, little less brown than the other one. The other one is the editor's pick. I love the style, but I think Jay's hung up on the color. I think he likes me more blonde. What do you think? What do you like? morning good morning happy monday so we had a great time yesterday it was just it was like really i think just like super relaxing here at the house and the really cute thing is that my mother wanted to have jay take her picture because he had taken a picture of me in the bathroom and you may have seen some of those pictures i posted them on instagram and on facebook and uh, with the flowers <laughs> and so she wanted a picture so i set up the bathroom so that, um, and it was perfect lighting because the backlight from the window really lights the back up so that it's a nice and bright image. And so Jay took pictures of her and she absolutely loved the pictures. I'm going to put them in here. So she was really cute. The kids were cute. All my, my both my boys came. They are significant others. My, my son Michael's married. He's the one with the girl and he's got a young adult son, believe it or not. And he was the only one missing. My brother was missing and my grandson Michael was missing. But everyone else was here, and it was really nice. It was like kind of low key, and we just kind of sat around, shut, shut the breeze. <laughs> I got my father and my mother a little inebriated. I made them some black Russians, some Tito and Kahlua, and oh, was it good? And my mom loved it. So that was my weekend. Now I'm off. I packed an overnight bag. I'm heading. I'm working today. Then after work, I'm heading up towards the mountains. And I am going to be up in the North Conway area tomorrow and then back in London, Derry. So I've got a, a, a busy, a busy two days. Yeah. We'll see what I can share. So I stopped in Meredith on the way up to our Moultonboro office. And this is right at Lake Winnipesaukee, which is one, it is the largest lake in the state of New Hampshire. I think it's like about 45,000 acres. And, I mean, it's got, like, about 240 miles of shore length. It's really a beautiful, very, very popular lake. So stopped here and just did a little stretch break, and now I'm going to be heading to Moultonboro. But I heard on the news it's going to snow tonight. They're expecting a nor'easter tonight. I'm like, oh, my gosh, no. Yeah, this is what happens when you go away and you have to, you have to teach. So I just finished all my... My prep work, 
and um, you can tell I'm lying in bed. But the really super exciting thing is that it's not snowing out. It's not snowing out yet. Oh, but you know what? The forecast is that it is going to snow. We're going to have a May nor'easter. Can you believe it? I can't. Anyways, this is the not so pretty view, but at least there's no snow. I'll show you what it's like tomorrow morning when I get up. I can't believe it's going to snow. Craziness. Totally insane. All the way up here. And I went out and I walked the outlets and I went and I actually bought myself a pair of um, uh, sneakers. I'll show them to you in a bit. But um, I always bring flip-flops from home whenever I go in a hotel because I don't want to, I don't know, I just don't like to have my feet on the hotel floor. So anyways, so I take everything out. I strip down and get into my, you know, jammies, ready to take my shower and all that, take all my makeup off. And I realize that while I have a ton of sunblock, while I have several mascaras that I want to try to finish up, which is why they're in my finish up pile that I brought. And I have my makeup, I have my shadows, my brushes, I have everything that I need, including, I have this, and yes, I did order the Helium March, it's just not here yet. But, you know, I have everything that I need. I don't have any skincare. I don't have any moisturizer any oils any serums i can't believe i left all my serums at home it's like crazy totally crazy i was like really you know i mean i think thankfully i have my toothbrush you know i have my you know i have all my stuff but i don't have but this stuff is my my trap my everyday makeup bag stuff you know that i put in there that i have i just took it out in case there was a little bit of a a face a face moisturizer but no i got more sunblock i got hand creep i get plenty of lipsticks i have my sample size of my estee lauder i love this stuff this stays in my my makeup bag but tomorrow i'll be wearing this i am in love with the cyo and i i'm gonna get my my favorite brush get everything but my skincare now i'll go show you what i bought oh no i can't show you because it's in the car anyways they're pink i'll have to show them to you tomorrow they're awesome happy tuesday guys happy tuesday i slept pretty good last night i don't usually sleep that well in hotels especially if i'm by myself but i actually slept pretty good and this morning it's wet outside but we have no snow here at the hotel and so that's really good. It's funny, so funny, because I know some of you have probably been following the Tati and um, James Charles saga, you know, and all of that. It actually made Good Morning America up here, so I was watching that this morning, and I said, oh, wow, big national news, you know, and I guess he has broken the record for the most, um, I guess, the most un unsubscribed or unfollowing or unfriending um, than anyone. So they were saying it's like unbelievable. No one has ever, ever dropped in subscriber accounts as quick as he has. So it's amazing. I mean, when you think about it, what kind of message does this kid send other children, other kids that watch him, you know? So um, yeah, I think this classic example of where just fame went to someone's head. I'm all for, you know, freedom of speech and all that, but with that freedom comes responsibility, and I think that's what some people just totally lack in. So bring my bag down to my car and then come back up here, and um, and then I don't go down until a little bit later, but I just want to make sure that I have everything down in the car so I don't have to run out and have too many bags when I'm going downstairs. So this is one of the really coolest places to stop. I really like it here. This is called Chikora, and this is Chikora Mountain, and this is just like, I mean, I'm going to show you the bridge. It's like really, really pretty. Let me turn this around. It's like a little one road bridge here, <laughs> and in the summertime and in season, this is like really beautiful. Chikora Mountain is hidden behind all the, it's actually snowing up there. Thank goodness it's not here, but um, it's really just a beautiful spot. And many times Jay and I have come here, we have always stopped on this bridge. We've taken our pictures and 
We've just enjoyed the views of Chikora Mountain. I wish it was a pretty day so you could actually see it. It's gorgeous. And normally, normally when the skies are clear, that's Chikora up there. And the views, the sunset views here are beautiful. It's the road I walked in. This is the other side. It's just really, really pretty. So I always like to stop here because this is just a beautiful spot on the side of the road. And when I teach up at the White Mountain Board, this is like definitely one of my favorite spots. So the class was all regulatory, it's agency, rules and regulations, license law, stuff like that. So it can be a pretty difficult topic, I think. Um, you have to know your stuff. And not that I know it all, but I do know a good amount of it. But it's, it's not like an exciting class. <laughs> You know, like, I like exciting classes. It really isn't like it's an exciting class, but it wasn't bad at all. It was pretty good. I think I had about 50, 58 people in the room. And of course, staying overnight in the hotel was really super awesome because I didn't have to worry about getting up and driving and being nervous wrecked driving. Because usually when I have to teach early in the morning at a, you know, far away like that, I worry, am I gonna make it on time? You know, what's gonna happen? So, ugh. I made it <laughs> and it was pretty good. So now I'm gonna get back in the car and uh, head south. But I wanted to share this spot with you. Isn't that beautiful? It's just gorgeous. I love it. It's really pretty. Little park. Oftentimes there are lots of people out and about, but I think the snow, not that we had any, <laughs> kept them away. It's just gorgeous here. It really is. It's just gorgeous. Got a new hat. So I wanted to show you the shoes. I just got home. And uh, it, it's a long ride home. <laughs> I had to make a couple of stops. But these are the shoes that I had bought. I, I just think these are really really adorable. I really do. They're just flat. They're um, sperry. But I just thought they were really cute and they, they were on sale and I had a $10 off coupon. So these are the shoes that I bought in famous footwear when I was up north. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was you guys are going to be thinking I'm crazy. I just got three more bottles of the CY foundation but when I went away I took the 104 and the 108 and took these two shades with me and I put these on and the primer I used was the CYO it is the matte and blur primer I'm telling you guys this stuff really really worked really good the thing is when I first put this on you have to let this dry into your skin otherwise if you put like your sunblock on or you know your foundation or anything on before you know before it's really dry it just kind of like it's like it's like a silicone -y cover that moves around so you want to let it really dry into your skin if that makes sense before you put your foundation on top of it once it's dried into your skin really good and then you put your foundation on top of it your foundation sticks to it i i mean i taught all day and then i drove home i made a couple of stops you saw them I did a couple of other things and then I got home and my foundation is still pretty good. You know, it really is. And I'm surprised at how well this stuff covers my veins. And this is awesome. Now, I also got the setting spray in the CYO. I don't have it here, but I, when I give do a full review on these, I'll, I'll bring it and I'll show it to you. The setting spray, it may work wonderful, I don't know, but it... I can't I can't wear it I put it on and I could feel like a sting on my face and I was like no 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 so I taught up north and I will have to say ever since I've been wearing this perfume and this is the Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca oh my gosh this is lovely this was sent to me complimentary from Oscar de Laurenta via the Oakley website. So this was sent to me 
complimentary in exchange for a review. A review. So I've been wearing this for a good two weeks now. No, I've been so I've been wearing this every day for a week now. Jay loves it. My mother wanted to steal it on Mother's Day. In fact, I should probably gift it to her because she was like so in love with it. And then when I was teaching today, I actually had three different people at different times say, what perfume are you wearing? And now that is really cool because I don't often get that. This is the fragrances. I don't know how you can ac accurately describe a scent. I really don't. But it's florally but not too full. It's very soft and subtle and romantic, in my opinion. It's a very, I have it on and I just love the smell. It's a very, very romantic smell and scent, and I love it. And, and look how beautiful the bottle is. Is this not gorgeous? I just think this is gorgeous. Absolutely. So not only does it look beautiful, it smells beautiful, and it passed the J test, which is crucial. And I had a lot of compliments on it. So that's very unique in itself. So I absolutely do like this. I'll link all the information. Again, this was sent to me complimentary via the Oakley Network. And I must say, I am enjoying this a lot. I've been exploring with different perfumes and different scents. So anytime I have an opportunity to try a different perfume that I hadn't tried before, I'm going to jump on it. And this is just one of those. And this I really, really am enjoying. Jay likes it and... Like I said, I think my mom wanted to steal it, so I'll probably give it to her. But I just wanted to share that with you. This video is probably getting a little bit long. I also got this. I want to show you this. I shouldn't have done this. But I just thought these were so cute. These are hoops. They're not super big hoops. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like little shells, you know, little... Can you see that at all? Pretty. I just thought they were really, really pretty. I haven't worn them yet. This is Lucky Brand. This is just a TJ Maxx earring, but I just thought it was pretty. So I'm going to probably, I'll wear them tomorrow. And then I just like the fact that they're the hoops and they have the little dangling little C, the little shells, the little pearls, all sorts of very much little, little nautical charms hanging off the bottom of it. <laughs> I think they were really cute and they were really inexpensive. $13.99 at TJ Maxx. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like them a lot. Poor Jay, he's going to go. Oh, poor Jay, he's going to go. Here she goes again with earrings. But, so anyways, um, I just wanted to wrap that all up for you because I know this is getting long. And, um, these are so darn stinking cute. I can't wait to wear them. They're so stinking cute. I love them. So anyways, that's it for today. I had to come back and show you these. Are these not stinking adorable? So, stinking adorable shoes. <laughs> stinking adorable new earrings. Well, not so stinking adorable hat, but still. I'm feeling like... I'm ready. I'm ready for spring, summer, you name it. I'm ready. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. So I just arrived at work and I actually tried to do a car vlog, but that didn't work out. You know, I, I just really have a hard time with it when I'm driving. Anyways, um, on the way up here, I was, I was just thinking of all the YouTube drama, 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 and, you know, I love going to YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos. And I watch all different types of YouTube videos. But all I've been seeing lately in my suggested stream is this drama between Tati and that James Charles kid. And, you know, I, I know a little bit about it. I do watch Tati. I like a lot of her videos. And I've never watched him, ever. Um... And there's a lot of drama channels on YouTube that I just never watch. I can't stand them. And I know everyone has their niche. And there are those people that thrive, thrive, thrive on drama. I know even in the mature beauty community, there are thrive dramaholics. Yeah, they're dramaholics. And, and everyone's entitled to enjoy what they 
want and listen to what they want and watch what they want. But I'll tell you, the drama, drama, drama over this Tati James Charles thing has just been overwhelming. It's on national news. It's everywhere. But last night when I got home, I think it was last night, when I got home last night, I watched, this has got to be the hands down best, best video I have watched in a long time. It was so darn funny, I peed my pants. I'm telling you, I peed my pants. Now, by the time this video gets posted, you probably already have seen this, but I must tell you that the video of the year award for me... <laughs> With the best title, maybe a little bit clickbaity, but not really, not when you watched it, has to go to Real Chicks TV, to Carla. She did the most fabulous, fabulous drama, 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 click, clicky type of a title, which of course people are going to click over because of the thing that's going on, but... Her video is not clickbait because when you watch her video, you just kind of pee your hands and laugh so hard. It was really, really wonderful, Carla. You did a great job. So shout out to Carla, Real Chicks TV, for the most amusing video I have seen in a long, long time. And you know what, Carla? I feel the exact same way about that drama. <laughs> so I just had to say that because I thought that was a fabulous, fabulous video. I really, really did. <laughs> YouTube amusement, right? YouTube amusement. But Real Chicks TV, big shout out for the best, best drama video I've watched in a long time. I love it. <laughs> oh, well. So I'm done, guys. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to end this vlog at this point in time. I think I probably will. I have my new earrings on. What do you think of them? Aren't they pretty? I absolutely love these earrings. I might go shopping tonight. If I do go shopping tonight, maybe I'll add a few more clips, but I don't think so. I think this is getting pretty long and probably pretty boring. So I might just end it right here. These are the flowers I got for Mother's Day. Oh, they're starting to die from my granddaughter. They were so beautiful and they smelled so nice. So after work, I did go to the mall. I went to Macy's. I got three t-shirts, um, dress t-shirts, and then I went to Ulta. And um, you'll be disappointed. I only got drugstore. So I've had a hard time finding my Essence Purple Mascara. He's had it, so I bought two. I bought another one of the Essence Primer. I absolutely love, love that primer. And then I brought this um, brow gel or Essence. So I bought all Essence. And then I went to bed, bed and um, Bath and Body Works. And I bought a bunch of hand soaps, foaming hand soaps, which is what I really like. I like the foaming hand soaps. So I got five of them. They were all on sale. And that's really all I bought. So it was kind of like, you know, kind of like low-key in that sense. Excuse how I look. <coughs> so then um, I figured, geez, you know, I, I really should end the vlog because it is like super long. But I wanted to say other good piece of news was, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to strip my makeup off and go in the shower. But the other good piece of news today was that um, Boston Accents, Boston Accents was voted the second most sexiest accent in the nation. Can you believe that? And I'm like, wow, because I know, you know, my Boston twang, park the car and have the yard. And, you know, just I just know that a lot of people... You know, this old Yankee broad here, you know, with her accent. But, um, but yeah, it kind of made me feel really good to be, to be voted that number two. You know, I think the first one was Texas. Sexiest accent. So, how cool is that? I think that's pretty cool. So, anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I did go shopping. I did share a couple of things. The only thing I didn't share was my t-shirts. I got three long sleeve um, t-shirts. I got this color kind of a green a blue and a darker blue so yeah just very casual and um and that's about it i walked all around the mall and then came home so now i'm stripping all this off taking a shower and i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching guys